Hello and welcome. Welcome to this unboxing and review of a, of a Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine Land Speeder. A while ago, Games Workshop changed their land speeders. They changed the land speeder box and everything. So, and and that was because there was a lot of confusion. I think at the time there were about three different box sets for land speeders, and they're not that of a popular model in my opinion. Uh, I don't see them used a lot. The the armor's ten. They've got a weapon that you can have in a Devastator squad. They're fast attack. They're they're just not. They they serve a particular role and then Games Workshop went and, and changed the boxes so that it was just one box and you have uh, Land Speeder, Tornado and Typhoon in in one and it still isn't that it still isn't that clear on the box either because it says Space Marine Land Speeder Every, everywhere on the box. It doesn't mention uh, Typhoon or Tornado or anything like that. It just shows you the assault cannon for a, for a Tornado and it shows you the Cyclone uh, missile launcher for the... or sorry, Typhoon missile launcher for the Typhoon. So, and it doesn't say it in writing. So there might be a bit of confusion but I assure you all the parts are in this. I've got a few land speeders, land speeder Tornadoes. Um, and my goal was to have three tornadoes and two typhoons and have none of the, the basic ones. Because let's face it, at the moment you're now, these, I think these went up in price, but at the moment you're spending more and you, you're getting the ability to make a tornado or a typhoon. Uh, and it just gives it that much more, more weaponry, really. And if you're already thinking about spending the points for, for a tornado or a typhoon with the increase in weaponry, well you might as well go the, the whole way because uh, survivability they're, they're both gonna both types are gonna survive the same so let's unbox this I think one of these set, um, boxes sets you back about 18 pound which is yeah it's not too bad a value really let's have a look at the sprues that come come in in here so you've got your flying base uh, um, perspex kind of see-through stand. You've got uh, the the top, the assault cannon, and the heavy flamer. Got the typhoon missiles with it with their housings. You've got a load of insignia there. You've got space wolves, ultramarines, blood angels, and dark angels. You've got your other part of the model, which is just the the legs. The multi melter, the heavy bolter, uh, the the doors or the side doors for the uh, model. You've got all the rest of the pieces for the two space marines that sit in there, and you've got the bottom half of the chassis uh, and the side and the antenna and the whatever that is the the bottom part of the the land speed and the the footsteps. This is a very, very basic, easy model. It's probably going to take me about 10 minutes to make. Very, very simple, very easy. I think this also serves a good... Oh, sorry, you get your, your actual stands as well for, for the flying base. What I've started to do is paint my flying bases. I never used to, but I've started to paint them. And, well, I'm liking the results, so I think I'll stick with that. You get your transfer sheet and you get your instructions which is literally a couple of pages it's quite self-explanatory I think construction difficulty won't be too difficult on this one uh, but yeah going back to what I was saying there's a lot of big gaps in in the sprues especially when you when you see these gaps here I mean you could fit all of those parts probably half or so in the same area and uh, you could maybe even even fit all of these on that sprue or, or that sprue but uh, but for this land speeder you get the three sprues and uh, it covers your normal land speeder your tornado and your typhoon so join me in part two when you'll see one of these uh, completely constructed and welcome to part two so the land speeder tornado is complete as you can see it's uh, it's sort of complete it's glued at least uh, this is a very nice model. It's very, very 
it's not that cheap anymore I think it's about 18 pounds or 20 pounds but it is quite a cheapish model and it's it's so easy to make you can knock one of these up in in an hour or two it's one of those models that if you have one laying around you've had a long day at work come back you can do it you know you, you can just make one and you've got a land speeder there you know just like that so I'll just go through uh, what I've done just built it standard template with the uh, assault cannon you do have the option of uh, putting the heavy flamer there mm, a lot of people may may choose that because it's an assault weapon you can move this and it ignores cover so a lot of people may may choose to do that you may even choose to put little magnets in there and uh, magnetize the weapon which you know is is another option uh, I went for all tornadoes with the assault cannons so I want them, wanted them all to match so I don't really need to uh, magnetize them the the weapon on the for the gunner I've always found difficult because you you can't you know you're given the option of two and I like to swap them around depending on who I'm facing and you can't really there's no way of that being sat there um, temporarily well unless you do the awkward balancing trick that I've just managed to pull off as a fluke but apart from that uh, that instance it's it's difficult to get the weapon to to stay where where you would want it and if you have it default where it's glued it's going to be aiming up and what you really want to have it is is aiming aiming there so it's up to you I mean you may want to move the gunner's uh, arms higher or whatever but you do have that option to, to magnetize that gun in there uh, as I said it's a very very easy model to make I'm not going to do any size comparisons because I think you, you kind of get the gist of how big a land speeder is the centurion that I've got here just, just for size comparison anyway um, and he's bigger than a terminator so it's not it's not a huge model um, it definitely looks a lot smaller now compared to all the other flyers out there but uh, it's still an okay model it still has some uses um, but uh, but yeah the I'd say difficulty wise of creating of making one of these um, initially when when you have to uh, put the top and the sides and some of the middle middle inside bits together it can be a little bit tricky uh, so just based on those tricky bits you know middle stages of, of uh, building I would give it a 2 out of 5 but really it's borderline 1 to 2 uh, it's it's such an easy model to make and it doesn't require that much skill uh, in, in my opinion um, is it still worth the money it depends if you're a collector or if you're a gamer or whatever it's that is um, individually uh, decided but uh, but anyway this is the Landspeeder Tornado uh, these are all the parts that you get spare I mean you get the heavy flamer you've got the option of having the multi melter on there which is excellent and you've also got a lot of items to do with the typhoon missile launcher which would normally go there and there I've got one already I will be getting another one to put the, the missiles on but uh, yeah you get some like heraldry as well or uh, chapter iconography like blood angels ultramarines and I think you get dark angels as well. Well, you get you get space space wolves, blood angels, and um, ultramarines. You don't get dark angels. Oh yes, you do get dark angels. My apologies. Um, you only get two heads, which is a bit cheap. Uh, you get this one without helmet. I mean, it's op it's open top, but, but but because they're wearing power armor, it suddenly counts as not being open top. But if they're not wearing a helmet, then <coughs> well that's debatable but you only get two helmets a bit cheap I uh, would like to see about three or four different helmets uh, you could get some cool looking ones so I've just used a, a spare one that I had lying around uh, it, I think it's a it's a really nice model I think it's a classic model and it's not too expensive it won't break the bank especially if you want to have a squadron of them anyway thanks for watching me today thanks for my unboxing and review don't forget to comment rate and subscribe the Emperor protects